I opened the door to my little brother's room without knocking, like I usually do. I mean, he's just a kid, what could he possibly be up to that needed privacy? But the sight that greeted me today was, unexpected, to say the least. There he was, sitting on the floor, his cheeks flushed a deep pink, dressed head to toe in girls' clothes. A pink hoodie, a frilly skirt, heart-patterned stockings, and a t-shirt that read, Happy Girl. I blinked, not quite sure what to make of it. His hair, usually messy and untamed, was neatly done up with colorful clips and a star-shaped hairpin. The only thing that still seemed out of place was the soccer ball beside him and the blue shirt that was tossed carelessly on his bed. Oni-chan, he stammered, his voice trembling slightly as he avoided eye contact, please don't tell mom and dad about this. I could see the panic in his wide eyes, the way his small hands clenched at the hem of his skirt. I should have said something right away, but I was too stunned. My little brother, who I always thought was so rough and tumble, so obsessed with soccer and action figures, sitting there looking, well, honestly. Incredibly cute. I knelt down beside him, trying to gather my thoughts. Why? Why are you dressed like this? I asked, though I tried to keep my voice as gentle as possible. The last thing I wanted was to scare him more than he already seemed to be. He fiddled with the cuff of his sleeve, still refusing to meet my eyes. I, I just wanted to try it, he mumbled. I like how it feels, and, and I think it's pretty. But I know it's weird, and. Hey, I interrupted, placing a hand on his shoulder, it's not weird. It's just different from what I expected, that's all. His eyes finally met mine, full of uncertainty. You really think so? I nodded, offering him a small smile. Yeah, I do. And, honestly, you look great. His face lit up with a mix of relief and surprise. Really, really, I confirmed, and I won't tell mom and dad if you don't want me to. He let out a long, shaky breath, the tension easing out of his shoulders. Thank you, Oni-chan, he whispered, his lips curving into the faintest of smiles. I ruffled his hair lightly, careful not to mess up the clips he'd so carefully placed. Anytime, little bro, just promise me one thing. What's that? Next time, maybe ask me before borrowing my hair clips, I teased, earning a soft giggle from him. And just like that, the room felt a little warmer, the air a little lighter. I didn't know what any of this meant for him or for us, but in that moment, it didn't matter. What mattered was that he was smiling, that I had made sure he felt safe, and that, no matter what, I was there for him. After that day, things started to change between us. I couldn't get the image of my little brother, no, my little sister, out of my head. She seemed so happy in those clothes, more relaxed and content than I'd ever seen her before. I wanted to see that smile more often, that light in her eyes that had been missing for so long. One Saturday morning, when mom and dad were out running errands, I knocked on her door. It had become a habit now, showing her the respect she deserved after the last time I had barged in. Come in, her soft voice called out, and I opened the door to find her sitting on the floor again, flipping through a magazine. Hey, I said, leaning against the doorframe. So, I was thinking, how about we spend the day together? Just you and me. She looked up at me, her expression a mix of curiosity and hope. What do you mean? I grinned, stepping into the room and holding up a small bag I had been hiding behind my back. I brought some things you might like. Her eyes widened as I pulled out a few items, hair ribbons in different colors, a cute little pink dress with lace trim that I had picked out from a second-hand store, and a pair of knee-high socks with a delicate floral pattern. Wanna try them on? I asked, watching her face light up like the sun. She nodded eagerly, her nervousness from before nowhere to be seen. Really, you don't mind? Mind? I'm excited. I want to see my little sister looking even cuter. She blushed, but there was a huge smile on her face as she carefully took the dress and socks from me. Thank you, Oni-chan. I stepped out of the room to give her some privacy, and when she called me back in, my breath caught in my throat. The dress fit her perfectly, and the pink ribbons I had helped her tie into her hair brought out the soft color in her cheeks. She looked absolutely adorable, and more importantly, she looked happy, so incredibly happy. 
Wow, I said, genuinely impressed. You look amazing. She twirled around, the skirt of the dress flaring out a little as she moved, and giggled. I feel amazing. This is the best dress ever. Let's do your makeup, I suggested, and her eyes widened with excitement. Makeup? Really? Yeah, why not? Let's go all out. We spent the next hour in the bathroom, me clumsily applying some light makeup I had sneaked from mom's collection. A bit of lip gloss, some blush, and a tiny bit of eyeliner, nothing too much, just enough to enhance her natural beauty. When we were done, she stared at her reflection in the mirror, her mouth slightly open in awe. Is that really me? She whispered. It is, I said, smiling as I stood behind her, both of us looking at her reflection. And you look perfect. She turned around and hugged me tightly, and I could feel how much this meant to her, how much it meant to both of us. Can I stay like this today? She asked, looking up at me with those big, hopeful eyes. Of course, I said without hesitation. You can be my sister whenever you want. Not just today. Her eyes sparkled with tears, but she was smiling wider than ever. Thank you, Oni-chan. I'm so happy. We spent the rest of the day together, doing things she loved, watching her favorite shows, painting our nails, and even baking some cookies in the kitchen. We laughed, we talked, and I got to know her better than ever before. As the day drew to a close, she fell asleep on the couch, still wearing that pretty pink dress and the makeup I had applied. I gently covered her with a blanket, feeling a warm sense of pride and love wash over me. This was my sister and I promised myself I would always do whatever I could to make sure she stayed as happy as she was today. No matter what anyone else might say, she was perfect just the way she was, and I would always be there to support her, my beautiful, happy sister.